Hi, Total Recapped here. Today, we will be going through the events of a 2009 American superhero film, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, let's get right into the movie. The movie begins in 1845 in a northwestern territory, British North America, where James Howlett is not well and talks to Victor Creed about his health. James's father, John Howlett, comes to see and check on him. Suddenly, they hear a thud on the door, following shouting from Thomas Logan. John goes downstairs to confront Thomas. After a few moments, James hears a gunshot and he runs to check it. He sees his father being killed by Thomas. James gets angry. Bone claws start growing from his hand. He attacks Thomas and kills him. Thomas reveals to James that he is his son as he dies. When James hears this, he runs outside the house and into the forest. Having caught him, Victor reassures him that they will look after each other since they are brothers. They flee together since they have no other options, otherwise they would be killed by village mobs. They then become adult. James is now known as Wolverine, while Victor is Sabretooth with sharp claw nails and a healing factor mutation similar to James. They use their powers to fight many wars, including World War I, World War II, the American Civil War, and eventually the 1973 Vietnam War. When Sabretooth tries to molest a girl during the Vietnam War, the general commander comes in to stop him. After a fight, Sabretooth kills him. Due to this, all the soldiers attack Sabretooth and decide to kill him. Without realizing what Victor did, Wolverine races to Victor's defense. Two of them are arrested and brought before a firing squad. Both of them are sentenced to death by the squad, however their mutant healing powers allow them to survive. So they are again put in jail. Major William Stryker approaches them and offers them membership in Team X, a mercenary team featuring Agent Zero, the katana-wielding Wade Wilson, teleporter John Wraith, and super strong and invulnerable Fred Dukes, as well as a technopath Chris Bradley. Both of them agree to be a part of the group and they are given their first mission. Eventually, they get on a plane where all the members of Team X are introduced to them. The mission is to retrieve a meteorite from the diamond traffickers headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. When they reach the town, they fight the security guards who shower bullets on them. Wraith comes forward and his skill is evident in the speed that he moves his sword, ensuring that none of the bullets can reach them. They catch the diamond merchant and ask him about a stone called Admenium. The merchant tells them that he has received it from one of his workers from a nearby village and he offers the stone. Stryker tells him that they are not interested in one stone, instead they will take the whole mine. As they reach the village, they capture the villagers and begin interrogating them. Villagers get terrified and say it was a meteorite they had obtained from the sky. It appears they don't know where to obtain more of this, so Stryker insists Sabretooth kill the whole village. Wolverine goes against him by saying that they should not kill innocents for no reason. Victor tries to convince him to stay since it is their job right now, but he leaves seeing the lack of self-control and empathy for humanity. After six years, Logan and his girlfriend, Kayla Silverfox, live in Canada, where Logan works as a logger. Kayla is a school teacher. Victor kills Bradley and mentions that Wade is already dead. William finds Wolverine and tells him that Victor had cheated them and now he is killing them one by one. As Victor is his brother, he asks Wolverine for help. Victor will listen to him and stop all of this. Wolverine rejects the proposal. He drops Kayla off at school and goes to work. In an instant, he senses the smell of meat and realizes that it is Victor and that he might have come here to avenge him and kill Kayla in the process. However, Kayla is already dead when Wolverine reaches her. It causes him deep sadness and makes him very angry. Wolverine locates Victor in a bar and a fight ensues between them. Victor defeats him and breaks his claw. Logan is again approached by Stryker, who informs him that Victor has gone rogue 
and offers him a way to become strong enough to get revenge. A painful surgery is performed to reinforce Logan's skeleton with adamantium, a metallic alloy that is virtually indestructible. After the procedure is complete, Stryker instructs his associates to erase Logan's memory so he can be used as his weapon. However, Logan overhears and escapes to a nearby farm. Agent Zero is ordered to take his head off by Stryker. Logan enters a barn which is owned by an elderly couple. They do allow him in. The next morning, Zero kills the couple and tries to kill Logan. But Logan shoots down Zero's helicopter and swears to kill Victor and Stryker. Logan tracks his former associates Wraith and Dukes down in a boxing gym in Las Vegas. Dukes, whose weight has ballooned due to guilt-induced overeating, states that Victor still works for Stryker. He hunts down mutants for Stryker to experiment on at his new laboratory, located at a place called the Mile Island. Dukes also mentions that Remy LeBeau, also known as Gambit, is the only one who has escaped the island and knows its location. Scott Summers, a teenage mutant, is captured by Stryker with Victor's help. Wraith and Logan find LeBeau in New Orleans in a bar. Wolverine goes to talk to Gambit while Wraith keeps an eye outside. Gambit doubts him, thinking he is there to capture him, and he attacks Wolverine. On the other hand, Victor arrives there, kills Wraith, and takes his blood sample. Wolverine attacks Victor, but he is again interrupted by Gambit, leading Victor to escape from there. Following a brief struggle, Gambit agrees to take Wolverine to the secret mutant laboratory of Stryker's lab. Upon reaching there, Wolverine confronts Stryker and comes to know that Kayla is alive, having been forced by Stryker into surveillance of him in exchange for the safety of her mutant sister, Emma Frost, who is also in prison. Victor faked her death with hydrochlorothiazide. Logan breaks down upon hearing this and leaves the place. Victor gets angry seeing Stryker letting Wolverine go and asks him to do the adamantium process on him. Stryker denies Victor the adamantium bonding promise for his service, claiming that test results revealed Victor would not survive the operation. Angry, Victor attacks Silver Fox and she screams in her loud voice. Wolverine hears this and interrupts Victor. Despite finally being able to kill Victor, Wolverine instead strikes him down instead of giving in to his animal instincts. Silver Fox takes Wolverine to the holding cells and he frees the mutants there. Stryker activates Wade, now known as Weapon 11, a mutant killer with the powers of multiple mutants. Weapon 11, which is under Stryker's control, blocks the rescue party's way to an exit. Two long blades extend from Weapon 11's arms and Wolverine tells the group to find a new exit. The blades resemble Wolverine's claws, but they're more like katana swords, Wilson's weapon of choice. Scott guides the mutants out of the facility's tunnels, but he is unable to explain how he knows what to do. The group comes across a helicopter after emerging from the tunnel. A familiar figure is riding in the helicopter. Professor Charles Xavier, who has guided the children to safety and offers them a place to stay at his school. The fight between Wolverine and Weapon 11 shifts to a nuclear power plant cooling tower. Weapon 11 overpowers Wolverine and prepares to decapitate him, but Victor returns to help. Together, Wolverine and Victor are able to decapitate Weapon 11 and send its head into the cooling tower while still firing optic blasts. Despite Victor's help, Wolverine tells him they are no longer together. Then Victor jumps off the cooling tower, reminding him that they can never be finished as brothers. Gambit rescues Wolverine from the cooling tower after it collapses due to optic blast damage. Gambit assures Wolverine that the prisoners are safe while he heads back to Silver Fox, who remained behind because of her wounds. He finds her and carries her to safety. Suddenly, Stryker comes and shoots him in the back with an adamantium bullet. Despite charging Stryker to kill him, Wolverine is shot in the head and knocked out. Stryker approaches an injured Silver Fox and prepares to shoot her, but she uses her persuasive powers to order him to throw away the pistol and then walk away until he bleeds to death. Silver Fox then succumbs to her injuries. Gambit returns there to tell Wolverine that the mutants are safe, but Wolverine could not remember anything due to amnesia caused by the adamantium bullet's brain damage. Understanding the situation, Gambit asks him to come with him, 
but Wolverine does not. Gambit wishes Wolverine good luck and leaves. Wolverine also leaves the place as the ambulances and police arrive. And that was my recap of the movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on what your favorite part was and make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this has been Total Recapped.